Hey, what is going on guys? This is Connor Sims here and today I'm bringing you guys a new setup video for 2016. So let's get into this. I haven't done one of these since I believe the summer and I kind of always wanted to get an updated one for you guys. So uh, if we were to walk in right here, I'm just going to give you a quick 360 view. Uh, if you've seen one of my setup videos before, um, you would know that it's pretty much the same thing every time except I usually do updates for uh, different things that are added to it. So um, anyways, let's get started here with the closet of fucking dreams. So uh, if you guys are uh, not familiar with any of my older setup videos, a bunch of clothes and shit up here. This is where it all happens really. This is where the uh, main highlight is. Uh, I got a bunch of green gaming PC kind of stuff over here. Over here I've got some PS4 stuff. Uh, PS3, this is actually the original faceplate uh, for my PS3 from 2007, I believe. Really old. It might even be 2006. I'm pretty sure 2007, though. Uh, I got a bunch of Apple stuff uh, up there. Uh, MacBook Pro in the back. Bunch of stuff for my PC, Blue Yeti microphone. Why I have a heat gun here, I had to do some uh, disassembling and reassembling of an iPad, doing uh, a bunch of screen repairs and whatnot. Uh, cinch box, Astros, all that good stuff. Keyboards, mix amps, all that good stuff. And uh, down there, I got another PS4 box. Uh, that's really that. And over here, I got a king size bed. Thing is fucking amazing. I've had that forever. Uh, over here, we just got some basic like shit for school. Uh, clothes, shit, fucking pajamas, dresser basic shit so over here uh, I got a backpack I use that thing all the time uh, for transporting my PlayStation if I'm going to a friend's house anything like that old monitor there that thing's a piece of shit it's there's pretty much laying around collecting dust at this point uh, baseball bats in case anyone wants to fuck around and get smoked uh, over here we got a printer use that all the time uh, down here well actually before I show you that uh, we got the sick absolutely sick Michael Jordan poster uh, it's just that's just dominance, man. Shit is just fucking awesome. I love waking up right there, looking at that every single day. It's just awesome. Anyways, uh, printer there. Stuff for school. Xbox 360 that was Red Ring of Death. Uh, or got the Red Ring of Death, rather. And down there, I have, like, MW3 Minute Release Receipts. Mad old shit. So, uh, that's that. I got a uh, secondary PC right there. Kind of a piece of shit. It's got, I think, Windows 7 on it. It's not the best thing, but it's like my emergency backup. Over here, uh, let me get like a overall shot of this part. Over here we've got the Xbox 360 GameStop wired controller. The only reason I have that is so that way I can authenticate my 360 uh, with my Cronus Max slash Titan 1 there. And uh, I can pretty much sync everything up and I can use my PS4 scuff on Xbox 360 if I'm going to play MW2 or any of the older CODs. Uh, hopefully they get remastered soon so I don't have to use my 360. On top of that we got a PS3. Um, over here is the PlayStation camera. It's unplugged because so I let a friend borrow it. Now this here is essential to any setup. You want these Yankee Candle shaker things. You shake this up like this. Gets rid of all the fucking stench, sweat, after you've fucking been grinding for like four hours. That shit will completely like change the smell of your room. That thing's amazing. Uh, PS4 right here. I have the uh, Titan 1. I'll explain my controller situation in a second. But uh, I have that hooked up to my PS4 right now. This cable uh, connects to my headset. Over here we got an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, the sweat from fucking Call of Duty pretty much deteriorized the paint job on it. But uh, I use this all through Black Ops 1. Great controller. Uh, I think I got that from Evil Controllers back in 2012. Late 2012. Um, over here we've got Black Ops 3 for the X1. Uh, Halo Master Chief Collection. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is my uh, audio switch. Uh, I'll explain that in one second. Uh, COD Ghost, and we'll be 14 the show. Destiny. MW2 and an empty fucking case. Uh, I have like a bunch of games down there if you guys really want to see that. Um, anyways, uh, this audio switch, this thing is essential. Uh, this allows me to use um, my headset with all these consoles and I can pretty much just switch uh, between each one. It's, it's really good. Uh, I use that all the time. Xbox One of course. And this monitor, I almost completely skipped over that. That's a spare monitor. Um, I could have a fourth here if I really wanted. I don't really need it, so I just leave it there. Uh, it's kind of like a secondary setup. 
If someone wants to come over here, they can just pop a chair right there and play on that monitor on any of the consoles they want. So uh, that's that. Over here, uh, we got a really nice lamp. Oh, I almost forgot the router. Uh, I got 9090 and I used to have one ping. Unfortunately, I don't have that anymore. I'll put a screenshot of when I did. That thing was fucking diesel. Uh, I used to just absolutely joke kids. Um, over here we have my old microphone. I use that pretty much all through Advanced Warfare. Excellent microphone. Uh, figured it was time to upgrade, and I got the Blue Yeti over there. I'll go into detail in a second. This is the cord for that. Keyboard. I use a very standard USB keyboard for my Xbox One when typing messages. Now people are going to be like, dude, why don't you just use Smart Glass or just do something else, like type with the controller. That USB keyboard saves me so much time if you're like if someone disputes, uh, someone's messaging you and you want to reply really fast, you go, you sit right here, twist your fucking body, type away, and it's amazing. Uh, let me sit down here just so you guys can see uh, somewhat of my point of view uh, when I'm sitting here doing my thing. So uh, I'm sitting here and I got uh, this monitor here. I pretty much always have either Twitter, uh, Skype kind of like uh, different applications open on this at all times. Uh, over here is a stand where I put my iPhone. I'm currently using my iPhone to record this, but I do have the iPhone 6S. Uh, you might be asking, what the fuck is this? This is a back scratcher. Now, I strongly, strongly recommend anybody uh, who sits and plays games for a long ass time uh, to get one of these because this is essential, absolutely essential. Um, if you're sitting there and you're giving kids the fucking backpack, it's going to get itchy. So, uh, you know, you probably want to uh, get invest in one of those. You can get it for like four bucks uh, pretty much anywhere. So that's that. Uh, over here is like a simple, regular Xbox One controller. I use that to authenticate the Xbox One um, with my Titan One. Uh, if you guys don't know what the Titan One is, uh, I don't even know if I really explain that. Uh, it allows me to uh, play any console with any controller. It's it's fucking awesome. I've been using that since about a year now. Uh, great thing. I used it all through Advanced Warfare when I was playing on Xbox One. And uh, I might as well explain this now. The reason I have it connected... You hear how fucking squeaky my chair is? Listen to this. Annoying as fuck. Anyways, um, the reason I have it connected to my PS4 right now is because, unfortunately, my PS4 scuff uh, has been broken. And I, I don't really know what to tell you. Uh, I took the paddles off. I tried doing a bunch of repair to it. And essentially, I, I click it. It just doesn't work. It, it's really annoying. I don't really know what else to tell you. It's just... It just, does, it just doesn't fucking work. Uh, I ordered a Battle Beaver on the 16th of December. Still haven't received it. Uh, I think there was some like error with the order. I don't really know what's going on, but uh, hopefully they can get me that as soon as possible. Uh, I went to Moe's earlier. This place is fucking amazing. Uh, essential uh, gamer food. And I will say right now, Chipotle is better than Moe's, but uh, Moe's is just fucking consistent as hell so I, I've been going there recently uh, 2k16 I just picked this up today I know I'm three months late but but better late than never I guess um, over here power raid cap not sure why I have this uh, that is a charging deck uh, for my iPhone and I just plug this in and I'm gonna see what happens when I close in so I'm gonna get on here boom so uh, the phone's connected and look at that uh, it has like this weird uh, like flowing motion into the phone itself, so uh, pretty cool there. Uh, Astro TR mix amp uh, with the Astro uh, 2012 headset, so kind of a weird combo, but uh, it works, man. I absolutely love that old Astros, way better than the new ones, in my personal opinion. I had 2013s, but they broke on me uh, pretty fast. I actually had two pairs, they both broke on me. So I do recommend like older Astros if you can get your hands on them. Uh, the TR headset itself, I've heard nothing but good things about it. Uh, the mix amp, kind of questionable. I've had this weird buzzing noise with it um, in the aux port, but the game audio itself sounds fantastic, so I'm definitely going to keep using them. Uh, this is a great, fantastic monitor here. Uh, this is an Acer, I don't remember the model number, I'll put the uh, model number and the, the monitor specs and stuff in the description, but uh, it is a 24 inch six, or 144 hertz monitor. So uh, this thing's fucking diesel. It looks so smooth. Um, I'm gonna try to display the difference between a 60 hertz and a 144 hertz really quick, but uh, that's a regular 60 hertz monitor. And then when we do it on 144 hertz, 
it's just way everything's way more smooth and uh, before you guys go and buy one um, for your gaming don't do that because the consoles don't put out uh, 144 Hertz if you're gonna do some PC gaming go right ahead and grab one uh, but console and competitive cod and stuff just got a simple 60 Hertz monitor no need for that but uh, that's that there Asus monitor this is also 60 Hertz very simple Asus VS something. I'll put the uh, model number for that in the description as well. Fantastic monitor. I've been using that since 2013. Uh, Logitech C9, uh, C920, I believe, webcam. Uh, great webcam. Uh, Advanced Warfare poster up there. I know you all hate that game, but I got the poster when the game came out. Uh, Call of Duty Ghost poster. I know most of you hate that game, but I got it when it came out. And Black Ops 2 poster. I hate this game, but I did get it when it came out. Um, PS4 scuff that's broken. Uh, standard PS4 controller. This is the controller I used all through Ghost before the scuff for PS even came out. Um, but yeah, look at how fucking <laughs> I destroyed this thing. And you can see where my fingers were and stuff. But I do have these awesome stickers uh, on the light bar. So hold on, I'll try to demonstrate it on this one here. Uh, there it is. It looks sick. And um, I, it's just like a little sticker that goes on the light bar, and you can put your gamer tag or whatever. Uh, I almost forgot Razer Death Adder Chroma uh, gaming mouse and the Razer Black Widow keyboard. So uh, it's mechanical, so sounds fucking awesome when you type. You can change all the colors to do all sorts of crazy effects, like rainbow colors switching back and forth. I just like a simple breathing uh, color changing effect. I also have a no button down there and an easy button down there. Uh, so when you give kids the hot 6-0, you can just... That was easy. Really awesome. Uh, over here we have the Blue Yeti microphone. This is what I just upgraded to. Fantastic mic, I got good feedback on it. Uh, some people said that the audio was low, so I did turn that up. But it's a great microphone and I do enjoy it. Um, over here is the controller that I've been using uh, probably for a month now. Uh, this is the Xbox One Scuff. Um, very simple. Scuff one, nothing too special about it. Uh, but I have been using it on PS4 uh, since that controller did break. Um, over here we got my wallet. Uh, essential school supplies, you know, you got your fucking headphones, cough drops, um, pen, fucking pencil. Uh, over here we have a stapler and some school supplies as well. This here is a coin counter. I think I have about $50 in here and change. You would never believe that that's $50, but it is. And that thing literally adds up so fast, it's insane. I do strongly recommend that everyone gets one though. Uh, when you come home at the end of the day, you just throw your change in there. Over the months and weeks and stuff, that adds up like crazy. And next thing I know, I got $50 in there. So uh, that's that. I got a really, really old PC over there and some slippers. That's really it. Uh, simple setup. I'll show you guys like a 360 view one last time. Uh, closet of dreams, some baseball stuff. Uh, autographed baseballs and stuff. Used to be a huge baseball fan. Uh, over here, 360, secondary setup, main setup, boom, posters, all that jazz. So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this was kind of requested. I almost forgot about the can of air. I can't forget about the can of air. Uh, I use this all the time to like just get rid of dust and stuff that's on my setup. Just spray that around. Awesome thing to have at your setup. But uh, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, and I hope you have a good day. Peace.